All right, I know. Zach, not everything is a Grand Theft Auto 6 leak. All right, y'all, I understand that, but hear me out. Please do not discredit me. Stop your hate comment right now. I please ask just one thing. Watch this video because Rockstar has been waving GTA 6 in front of our very own eyes just like this for quite some time now. Through codes in Red Dead Redemption 2, through their history of doing that with Max Payne 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5, Rockstar has all but indirectly confirmed the GTA 6 Project America America's code name to be true. Like I said, hear me out, watch the video. We're probably gonna go back to Vice City and to a brand new location being an unnamed South American city, most likely Bogota, which is located in the country of Colombia. So if y'all enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. I appreciate y'all so much. And let's go ahead and check out how Rockstar has been leaving this like breadcrumb trail of greatness with GTA 6 in front of our face for a very, very long time. Rockstar Games has been teasing us with Grand Theft Auto 6 in front of our very own eyes without us even knowing it. And this has been going on for a very, very long time. Today I have four major pieces of evidence to back all of this up and essentially confirm it. From Rockstar adding Grand Theft Auto 6 cars into GTA Online, teasing us with the GTA 6 location through GTA Online DLCs, teasing locations for GTA 6 on their website and Twitter, and also through code in Red Dead Redemption 2. These are four crazy pieces of evidence that might blow your mind. So if you enjoy the video and learn something new, please give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. Because for this, what we're going to have to do is actually go back to games that Rockstar made before Grand Theft Auto 5 and similar things that Rockstar did as far as hinting at what their next game is going to be in their previous game. Now we know that Rockstar is no stranger to this. They did it in Grand Theft Auto 3 with the billboard that says see you in Miami and one year later we actually got GTA Vice City. In GTA 4 there's an in-game manual that says it's over Liberty City with a page torn out with mountains that ended up being very similar things that we saw in the GTA 5 trailer. As well as in GTA 4 at the theme park, we see a backdrop of a jet flying into Los Santos, which could allude to the fact that we're going to be flying back and returning to Los Santos, the city that we just left from San Andreas to GTA 4, and now we're going back. So with that said, the first piece of evidence we have is future cars that we will probably see in GTA 6 are actually available to us in Grand Theft Auto Online right now. Now, that's obvious. Cars from pe previous GTAs are in GTA 5. That's just the way it works. However, there's a very interesting post on the GTA forums from September 29th from Benefactor69. And what this post goes on to basically talk about is GTA Online cars and how Rockstar is using GTA Online as a major resource to actually test out these new vehicles that they're working on. And this is something that Rockstar has never actually had before. It's like we're almost beta testers. And I'm going to break all this down in a moment. But let's check out Benefactor69's post because he went really deep with a lot of analytics, percentages, and things like that. So the initial post took me over three and a half minutes to read in the video, and I thought that was pretty boring. So I'm going to let this play for 30 seconds. Y'all can pause it, read through yourself, and then we'll continue on the video because I don't want to bore you you all with that. Okay, so that's a very interesting read, right? Basically, Rockstar is up the percentage of classic cars that they have in GTA Online. They've changed things up. Now, I can see this from both standpoints. I can see it from, okay, Rockstar has made so many supercars, new cars. We're going to make some old cars. But also, I see it from the standpoint of, hey, we've got this major resource as, or aka GTA Online, to pretty much beta test cars for our next game. Now, obviously, these vehicles are susceptible to change from now until GTA 6, but that's very interesting because Rockstar has never had a resource like this to actually use before to test out. But Rockstar does have a history 
with testing things. And the first thing is actually table tennis from 2006. So for those of you who don't know, in 2006, Rockstar had a game called table tennis. They literally made a game where you can play tennis. Now, what's interesting is that table tennis actually started life as a simple tech demo for the new Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, or the Rage Game Engine, that was made prior to the launch of the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. But the table tennis simulator was so good that Rockstar decided to fully release it as just a fully fledged game. And if it wasn't for table tennis testing out this game engine, well, we wouldn't have GTA 4, Red Dead Redemption, and GTA 5, which all run on this game engine. Well, we'd probably have it, but it wouldn't be as fine-tuned as it is now because it was in table tennis that allowed Rockstar to finally tune the nuisances of the new game engine, which obviously went on to, like I just said, power games like Grand Theft Auto 4, RDR 1, and GTA 5. Now, let's talk about Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V gave us North Yankton, a different setting filled with snow, which had some very interesting uh, features to it. Like walking in the snow would leave kind of footprints. It wasn't too graphically advanced. Remember, we're talking Xbox 360 hardware, PlayStation 3 hardware, and 2013 when GTA V came out. And this hardware back in 2013 was almost seven years old at the time. But Rockstar was able to test the snowy environment in GTA V that they went on to expand in with Red Dead Redemption 2. Now with Red Dead Redemption 2, we had a chapter that takes us to Guarma, or Cuba, I believe. Now, my theory with this is that Rockstar was using Guarma not only just to throw it into Red Dead Redemption 2, which was an amazing chapter, but also to test out jungles. Because if the GTA 6 Project America's leak is real, which there's a lot of evidence pointing towards that, I even made a dedicated video to that just three days ago, well... We're going to see some jungles and jungle environments in Grand Theft Auto 6 if we do go down to South America and Bogota. Which could explain why the chapter is so short in, in Red Dead Redemption 2 with Guarma, but why the world is also so, so detailed. So, that is my first piece of evidence as far as Rockstar hinting at GTA 6 and GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. The next one that we have is actually from GTA Online DLCs. Now, out of all the evidence I have in the video, this one is a little bit far-fetched and I'll go ahead and admit that. But I do have evidence to back this up because I would never make a claim without any sort of evidence. So... In the Doomsday Heist, which released in December 2017, we can actually find on the facility computer a map of the world. And interestingly enough, there's circles around this map, but one of the locations that is circled, one of these circles actually encompasses southern Florida, Cuba, and the top part of South America. Now, there's also other circles on this map. I need to add that in there, like India. Okay, let's just say Rockstar is just circling that because Rockstar India. Or because these circles mean nothing. Now, I understand that. But what's very ironic and coincidental is that this circle around southern Florida, where Miami or Vice City would be located, Cuba, where Guarma happened to be located, and South America where Project Americas is supposedly going to take place, or GTA 6, the top part, Bogota, Colombia, which is all in that top part of South America. So that's very interesting right there. There's a lot of irony in that. It could just be a simple coincidence, or it could be Rockstar hinting at where GTA 6 is going to take place, just in front of our very own eyes. Well, just yesterday, we got the teaser for the casino heist coming to GTA Online. And in one of the actual scenes in this little 12-second teaser, we see a globe, and on this globe, the only part that we can see is South America. Now, like I said, this piece of evidence that I have is very, very far-fetched, but it's not completely out of this world because we've got the computer from the Doomsday Heist, and now Rockstar's doing it again and only showing off South America. This could be a simple coincidence. I could be sounding like I'm crazy wearing a tinfoil hat right now, but I just thought this was very interesting and wanted to include this as well. Now, the third piece of evidence we have is Bogota. This is something I talked about the other day in my six reasons why I believe GTA 6 Project Americas is real video. Now, Bogota is a very interesting topic when it comes to Rockstar Games. So, in December 2013, Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar Games' parent company, registered the trademark GTA Bogota and many other Grand Theft Auto games. Now, 
Take-Two has had to actually renew that trademark throughout the years to actually keep ownership of that. So why would they do that if we've never had a GTA game take place in Bogota? The only mention of Bogota that I know of in Grand Theft Auto is in GTA 1, which takes place in Anywhere City, where we have Vice City, and there's actually a small area of Vice City called Little Bogota. Also, in Rockstar Games history, to my knowledge, the only game where we actually visit South America is in Max Payne 3, where we go to Sao Paulo. So, it's interesting that Take-Two has held on to this GTA trademark for so many years. Now, what's also very interesting is this location that's mentioned on Rockstar Games' Twitter and their website. And I want to say that this has been around for years. This is nothing new. There's GTA forum articles dating back to 2010 talking about this, and nobody knows why, and that is Bogota. You can see in Rockstar Games' Twitter bio and on their website that Bogota is listed alongside their United States locations, but Rockstar Games doesn't have any offices in Bogota. There is nothing. There's not a Rockstar Games Bogota. We've got Rockstar India, Canada, or Toronto. Uh, so many different locations, but Bogota is not one of those, which is very, very interesting as to why it would be like that and why it has, has been like that for so many years. Could it just be a parody? Probably. Could this mean nothing? Probably. Or maybe they're just hinting at something. Now, the last piece of evidence that I have and want to talk about is actually some code. So in Red Dead Redemption 2 this past week, GTA 6 Project America's code was actually found inside of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this was tweeted out by FunMW2 on December 3rd and he tweeted, Miscellaneous America's script stats. Found in the Red Dead Redemption 2 files a reference to Project America's which the no said was a code name for GTA 6. Now the no is the first ever people media outlet to ever cover GTA 6 Project Americas in March 2018. That's the reason we know about Project Americas. It has changed to miscellaneous script stats with newer updates as confirmed by Unknown Modder. It's interesting that Americas was an actual code name. Now somebody asked, so what does this mean? Americas was an actual code name used by Rockstar developers, but we don't know what it refers to, and we have The No, a gaming news channel who claimed their reliable insiders told them Project Americas is the code name for GTA 6. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, this could mean anything. Coincidence, Americas, anybody can say that or use that term. Well, what we're going to do now is actually go back to Max Payne 3, the game that came out right before Grand Theft Auto 5. And in Max Payne 3, much like Rockstar and what they're doing with GTA Online as far as testing out cars for GTA 6, well, Max Payne 3 tested out things for Grand Theft Auto 5. Vehicles, weapons, so much was found in the coding of Max Payne 3 that we ended up seeing in Grand Theft Auto 5. Textures, screenshots, and well, one of the main pieces of evidence that we had for GTA 5 with Max Payne 3 was a whole GTA 5 vehicles.ide file with vehicle names listed in the Max Payne 3 code. So, Rockstar is no stranger to this. Rockstar has done this before. I'm very confident that this right here, without Rockstar confirming on the Newswire or Twitter, is Rockstar confirming that GTA 6 is going to take place in Project Americas, or that that Project Americas codename, excuse me, is real. And we're going to return to Vice City. And we're going to go to South America, most likely Bogota, with a different name. It probably won't be called Bogota, an in-game parody. So much is going on here, but I believe it to be real. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down below. I was really excited to make this video and share all of this evidence with you as it's pretty plausible and there's a lot to back it up. So I'm going to read through every single comment. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. Share this video around. Get it ranked higher in the search results. Let people see this because it's very, very interesting. Interesting. And lastly, if you want to stick around for more daily video game content, then consider subscribing as we're on the road to 650,000 subscribers. But with that said, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Zach Cox. I love you all, and I hope to see you in the next video.